MEC for Transport and Public Works, Dane and Gary Mitchell, in a meeting with uh, taxi industry stakeholders in Cape Town, where over 76 people have died in the mother city due to ongoing taxi violence-related shootings. Museum Africa's Atim Tongana joins us live from Bracken, uh, where the meeting is taking place. Uh, Ati, a very good morning to you. It's a very important meeting that uh, should be taking place today. As we've seen, the ongoing violence and the interruptions to the public transport industry. Let's talk about uh, some of the expectations today. A very good morning to you, Paul. Before we talk about those expectations, now let me just bring you up to speed with uh, regards to the shootings that are related to the taxi violence here in the Western Cape, particularly in communities around Cape Town. Now, just yesterday, detectives were probing a scene where three people had been gunned down in yet another taxi-related shooting. Then they heard, of course, about another shooting, a separate shooting, which is also related related to the ongoing taxi violence, where three commuters uh, had been caught in the crossfire, two males and one uh, female, a 22-year-old female, uh, they were caught in the crossfire and subsequently died on the scene. And then on the other hand, you had a five-month-old baby as well as a 29-year-old female who are both currently fighting for their lives in hospital. They also uh, got caught in the crossfire during these ongoing taxi-related shootings here in the Western Cape. And then in another separate shooting on the same day, uh, the police Police also went on to probe a scene where another child who was a bystander also got injured in that shootout incident. So in many of these cases, uh, you have those who are involved directly in these taxi associations. And the two taxi associations that have been fingered in the ongoing taxi violence here in the Western Cape is Kata as well as Kodeta. Now, if you look at the numbers, they are now well over 76. Close to 80 people have now lost their lives. This includes those members from both taxi associations, Kata and Kodeta, as well as, unfortunately, those innocent bystanders, commuters who rely on minibus taxis to commute, be they going to work or places for health facilities or just, just going to the store, really. So they've been caught in the crossfire as well. So that's the extent to which these shootings have been taking place in the Western Cape. I just got off the phone now with a parent of one of the victims that unfortunately passed away, and they were telling me that they are on their way to the Tigerberg Hospital to go and identify the body. And this is just, you know, one but many of the families that have been adversely affected by the ongoing taxi wars here in the Western Cape. Now, the uh, Minister of Transport, as you have pointed out, Sigile Mbalula, together with the MEC for Transport in the province, Mitchell, they are currently meeting. In fact, they're at the building right behind me. They're still waiting for more stakeholders. Uh, we presume those, of course, from the taxi industry to come and uh, meet with them because they are really trying to quell the situation. Last week, some kind of peace agreement was reached, but we have not seen a week where there have been uh, no shootings here in the Western Cape, particularly in Cape Town. These shootings have been taking place, even though there was this so-called agreement between these taxi associations. We do know that the MEC for transport as well has tried to uh, close some of the taxi ranks here, but that has not assisted. And so we're hoping that the engagement that they're going to have this afternoon is going to try and quell this ongoing taxi violence in the Western Cape.